Good evening, and we're so glad that you could join us for this moment of worship. This is just a chance to relax and just find God in the midst of your week. We pray that this will be a blessing to you. O oh, great dreamer, you dreamed up the stars in the sky. You dreamed up that magic baby smell and the way cream sinks into coffee. You dreamed up the crunch of fall leaves and jazz music. You dreamed up wisteria and evergreen and the pure magic that is a six foot tall sunflower. And in the midst of all that, you dreamed up a dream for your people, a dream of hope and justice, a dream for eyes wide open to both the world's suffering and the world's beauty. So today, as we read scripture, we ask that you would plant that same dream in us. Pour out your Holy Spirit on our hearts and our minds so that we may be and we may see what you see and dream what you dream. Gratefully we pray, amen. Hear these words from Mark's gospel. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that the summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near, right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. But about the day or the hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard. Be alert. You do not know what time will come. It's like the man going away, he leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned task, and tells the one at the door to keep watch. 
Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everybody, watch. And these words from the prophet Isaiah. Yet you, O Lord, are our Father. We are clay and you are the potter. We are the work of your hand. Do not be angry beyond measure, Lord. Do not remember our sins forever. O oh, look on us, we pray, for we are your people. Amen. They say you will come like a thief in the night, the hour unclear, the day easily feared. But I toss those words over at the edge of my tongue, and they don't taste right. A thief is one that I lock out. A thief is one that I fear. So I ask myself, did I downgrade you to no more than a thief, O oh God? Did you form me from the dust, breathe life into my bones, and paint the horizon into the sky all for me? And was all of that fine until you asked me to love my neighbor as myself? Was all of that fine until you said, dream, don't sleep? Was all of that fine until you asked me to wake up to the suffering of others? 
Did I imprison you to the role of the thief to keep you from getting too close? Forgive me, O God. Tear down the door to my house. Crawl through the window, slip through the attic fan, dance in the security light. Scream through the letterbox until I hear you again. For this house is your house. You built it. You belong here. I am begging you, break back in. This week we lit the candle of hope. We pray that God may keep that candle burning in your life, that the fire of hope may inspire you to still greater heights, and you may go with God's blessing. Continue and go in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.